have first Bill McNicholas, and then we'll have Stephen Nessel. Madam President, uh, we do have that set up that way in our presentation. Good morning, Board of Directors, Executive Director, and Staff. I'm Bill McNicholas. I'm a member of the Citizens Concerned Citizens Oversight from Marinwood Plaza. And uh, first, I'd like to thank the board and executive director for the orders that came out in May for uh, additional testing on the Silvera Ranch and also for additional solar vapor, uh, solar soil vapor testing. Let's see if this thing works. There we go. At Marina Plaza, just as a refresher, uh, it was first noted on a GeoTracker on January 1st, 1990. A leak was detected on 2007. A cleanup order was issued by the district on February 14, 2014. Since that, there has been no active cleanup except for testing since 2011. So there's no uh, injecting of bio-oxidators. Uh, right now, across the street from it, about 100 feet, there's 107 townhomes with 250, 300 people living there. And there's a cancer cluster uh, less than 200 yards, less, maybe 100 yards from the site. We don't know if that's affected or whatever, but that is just the concern the community has. What I'm bringing up right now is the scope of everything in the whole community. As you can see, we have the cleaners at the plaza. We go across. We have various test sites that have occurred with CPT on the east side of the freeway and out onto the Silvera Ranch. The, uh, out on the ranch, we have discovered that the plume is continuing to move. And that wasn't discovered, the fact that the plume even went under the freeway until less than two years ago. And now with the recent testing, the last eight months, additional CPT testing, we found that the plume has continued to move and the fact is that they picked up the first time in this last month trace of PCE and MBTE in the uh, well, which is at close to C30, if you can see it on the map, or about 100 feet uh, south of uh, C22. The well readings came out right now is at uh, 0.58 microgram per cubic meter. But it is a concern since that's the first time that showed up in the plume moving. It's raised even a bigger concern on taking action. What we're looking at additional testing from C29 to C40 will be done later this month. What the community is looking for is immediate action to start injecting bio-oxidizers into the ground, into the sites, both at the site at the triangle where the bus and the uh, car on-ramps occur and on the east side of the freeway and into the ranch to stop it, get the things down before it becomes more of a problem with the well. Another concern is the fact that the well is detected and it's on the south side of Mellor Creek. Is there contamination now getting into the creek which is going into the bay? Additional testing will tell that, I hope come up when they do that later this month. <clears throat> I know back when the executive order came out in February 2014, this information was not known. So this has all come up on new data since in the last, as I said, in the last eight months. We're looking for you, the community's looking for you to issue an order to modify that and do immediate injection to start knocking down the moon put in monitoring wells. One last thing that I'd asked for back in May was we'd like to see, I don't know whether it's the district or it's Geologica, the geology company to give us a flow rate, an estimated flow rate, which would give us an idea of how far the plume has traveled. I look at this site as going back probably since the dry cleaners were installed back in the late 60s and probably all of them had the same habit of dumping their stuff outside or whatever. 
Thank you. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Nestle. All right, thank you very much. And after Mr. Nestle, uh, Nestle will have Elizabeth Gill. Hi, I'm Stephen Nessel, and um, thank you for your time. Um, so there's two big issues. One is the toxic waste, and the second, of course, is soil vapor from that toxic waste. And as I'm a, you know, just an amateur at this, uh, and, and for the benefit of other people uh, in the audience that may not know, uh, soil vapor travels along porous soil, uh, uh, along porous soil. So wherever you have a utility line, uh, you're going to have soil vapor uh, move through it if there's a pressure differential. So it's like a straw. And unfortunately, we have quite a few utilities going into that 107 unit uh, complex. We have gas, water, sewer, and also um, uh, the storm drain as well. And um, unfortunately, all, the locate, all, all those pathways just so happen to coincide uh, with the area right in front of uh, Prosperity Cleaners. Uh, there's a storm drain, there's uh, water line and I think a gas line and so um, very little has been done on that side of the property and as we know we've got this plume extending um, we really need to understand what's going on with that soil vapor now there's some soil vapor tests coming up um, they are appear to be done in non-porous soil so we're not expecting to see much of a reading over there. What we are requesting is that the test be done along the utility trenches as close as possible into the fill because that's where you're going to find the soil vapor. So we would like that to extend up and down Marinwood Avenue and especially at the entrance. I believe there's um, interest by the community of of Casa Marinwood that we're talking about to do testing inside, but I, I don't know what that status is. Uh, so that's actually all that I have to say. There's a lot of people depending on you. You're the cops, you're the judge, you're the enforcers. And without you, well, without you, you we're kind of lost. Um, so I'm going to turn this over to Elizabeth. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Geller. Uh, thanks uh, for having me Thank you for the motherboard. Um, I am a scientist. I have a PhD in chemistry, but I am here as a homeowner from Casa Marimbo that is in the west side of the Marimbo Avenue. I am here as a breast cancer survivor. I am one of the five people of the cluster that is 100 feet of the uh, new test. So I was here in May, and after that, we uh, have a new number that is the site 26, where show that we have a very high 580 uh, microgram for cubic meter uh, for PCE. And I was concerned before that number, and now I am more concerned. And after that number, I am being very active to talk with my neighbors, with other people that uh, were facing cancer. And it's a big concern in the community. And we are very active having meetings one per month and talking about, because it's not just the health that is very, very the most important. It's also the real estate. People start to think, what is going on with the prices? <laughs> because we need to disclose that. This is a, a reality that we are we are very close, if that is in the truckers, we need to disclose. So we have for the one side myself that I am concerned for the health, but I, I am also representing these people that I am concerned for the pocket. So I really uh, wish to see more testing done, 
and immediately, right now, start to remediate. Like uh, my friend Bill mentioned, we should start, uh, need to start to inject, so we don't leave the plow move. So I really wish that the, the board make some pressure there to start these actions. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you very much for allowing me to speak here today. My name is Raymond Day from Renwood. My specific comments are related to the uh, the closed uh, gas stations that are along Renwood Avenue. The slight uh, closure summaries for the former Unical station at 101 Renwood Avenue and the Chevron station at 100 Renwood Avenue have been removed from the GeoTracker site and uh, we were wondering why. Uh, page 10 of the Geologica report dated December 7, 2007, indicated that diesel and motor oil concentrations detected exceeded their Table A ESLs. Also, the EPA reports indicate that VOC vapors will follow the path of least resistance examples of uh, underground utility lines such as the water, sewer, and stormwater lines which are located under the pavement in the shopping area and under Greenwood Avenue. A hot spot was located in front of the former Prosperity Cleaners near an underground utility water line. Vapor sampling needs to be conducted parallel to and in close proximity to these underground utility lines to ensure that the soil vapors have not migrated into com the cost of a complex. It uh, should be noted that uh, if you look at the, the site closure report that I was referring to, it indicated that the for the Unical station that the site uh, should uh, has a human health risk assessment if the land was changed to residential, which it is, had been contemplated by one of the developers. Now the uh, priority actions that we recommend is the immediate treatment of all of the elevated contaminated hotspots on both sides of the freeway to reduce further damage to the public health and environment by October 2015 remedial measures to ensure adequate and safe water sources at Silvera Ranch, continued testing at Marinwood Avenue and adjacent residential neighborhoods along utility easements for elevated soil vapor intrusion by October 15, and uh, set a date for the testing and completion of an uh, aggressive cleanup as soon as practical including the removal of soil and insertion of biotreatment and monitoring wells by uh, the end of, or by the beginning of August 2016. Now, uh, one of the, one of our resident scientists has indicated that uh, that it's uh, better to go ahead and use bio degradation that should be employed immediately to start the cleanup process. And the residents were also concerned that Casa Marinwood uh, is subject, potentially subject to disclosure issues if the people go ahead and sell the properties. And this is a major concern not only to the residents but to realtors in the area. And so they'd like to know, is this a problem or is it not a problem? So, thank you very much. Thank you, all of you.